Welcome back folks to Let's Play Warzone 2100. If you notice the in-game items are a little bit bigger, that's because I, well, downgraded the resolution a little bit. So we're now playing on a smaller resolution than before. Because I think the items look quite small on the screen, so downgrading the resolution is probably helping. However, what we're going to do first is we're going to build some more base buildings. And that means we're going to upgrade our research facilities to 5. Why? Well, I don't need them right away, but after a few more missions we'll have quite a few research items and I want to research them as fast as possible. So 5 research facilities, well, just Construction completed. make the possibility for me to do that. That's number 4. And while these are constructing this, I'm going to show you the design menu. On the left side you see the current production items we have, meaning the truck and the machine gun wiper wheels. However, I don't want the machine gun wiper wheels, because the name is way too long. So I'm going to create a new one. For that, we click New Design. And then we'll get a little display here in the middle which tells us, okay, we need to select something. In this case, the body is the first choice, so we choose the wiper. No other choice is yet available, so we need to do that. Next up, transportation. So in this case, we have wheels. Nothing else yet, so we take wheels. And last but not least, we have the possibility of choosing either a weapon or a system. System in this case means the construction system for the truck and weapon means the machine gun like we have already researched. So we'll take the machine gun. For easier usage I'm going to just name this thing machine gun and not machine gun wiper wheels because the name is too long. I just like it when it's short and precise. Besides I'm going to use the same body for every possible unit so it doesn't matter what unit it is and what body it has because it's always the same so don't need it in the name. After creating this I'm going to delete the old one and now we've got two units again the truck and the machine gun. Yeah and that's basically how we create units. We'll see that later in the game a little bit more in detail. But for now I'm going to produce one more of the machine gun units. You will notice up here there is a loop completed. production possibility, meaning that if I may click this one now, like I will now, it produces two times the units I have just added. So I've added one machine gun unit and by clicking the loop button it will now produce two times the loops I've added. So two times one machine gun unit. However, I don't want it so I'm just going to delete it again. So that would be number four done. And we want the fifth one about here. Okay. So while these construction vehicles are working, we're going to explore the east a little bit more. Yeah, you, you notice the wayfinding's not that great, but I can't help it, it's just there. So, more units to kill, more scavengers. Yeah. They're not very tough yet. They will get tougher later, then. Trust me, they will. Okay, let's destroy this thing so we don't get destroyed there. Yeah, th I'm destroying these cars because they set off small explosions. And when the units are too close to them, they might get damaged or killed, so I don't want that. Yeah, oh, we have another base here, so I think we just pay a visit, right? Oh, there's a tower here. Towers are actually quite evil. We try to destroy that first. And then focus on the rest. Few more on the right side. Kill them too. Uh, 
Okay, they're dead. No, don't shoot that thing yet. I'll explain that in a second. Just gonna kill these things first. And now you can destroy it. Get back. Okay, so we've destroyed the enemy old Derek, and we can build an old Derek on that thing for ourselves later. However, we do want this artifact first. This artifact will enable us research artifact items. Recovered. And in this case, it is this, hardened machine gun bullets. You can see what it is on the left hand side. This is saying you it's a weapon. And on the right side you see this small well explosion, that means it's damage upgrade. So we're gonna research it. Um, what you can also see is we have a yellow power bar down here, and when we hover over this research, you'll notice there is a small green bar on the power bar. This tells us how much energy we will have after we've done the research, or if you produce something, after you produce the unit. So what we're going to do is we're going to research this and move our units back to the right hand side while we scroll back to the base, get ourselves a truck and build an oil derrick. Oh that's not good. Our Ooh, come back! Yeah, I need to preserve these units, you will see in a second why. Okay. Well done. So let's go back a little bit more. I don't want them to get killed. Yeah. So basically... You stop, please. Basically, these units gain Major experience points. Completed. So whenever they kill a unit, or get the killing sh shot, rather said, um, of a unit, they will gain one experience point. And when they have gained enough experience points, they level Construction up. Completed. So what you can see here is we've got four units, this one, this one, this one, and this one, on the first level, meaning greens. Yeah, you get back to base. And another one here is already trained. It got eight kills. The first level is rookie, which doesn't have any experience points. And the first experience level is green. The second experience level is trained, and so on. You are going to build another factory here, by the way. Um, yeah, so when we kill units, they gain experience, our units, and that's really, really good. Because the more experience they gain, the more hit points they have, they have more damage with their weapons. They unfortunately don't move faster, but that doesn't matter. But what they will do is something I can show you maybe just in a second when this factory is done. These experience points transfer over to the next produced unit. So if I'm going to scuttle this one, when this factory is actually done, come on, build it. So when I scuttle this one, like Construction completed. this. The next produced unit, no matter out of what factory it comes, will have this experience level. So this is one way of carrying your experienced units up into later missions. And I definitely am going to do that, because more hit points, more damage is very, very important in this game. Especially in later stages, because I don't want to train rookies all the time, and train these units with experience is just way better. Production completed. So we're going to research the APDSB machine gun bullets. Another damage upgrade. And you will see our next produced units here has seven experience point and is green. So it carried over the experience. So when we come back folks, we're going to attack the scavenger base to the north. Well, and then we hope to destroy them. So, see ya folks!